Welcome to another episode of Reflections. I'm your host, Dr. Tom Linton. And um, today we launch into part two of our interview with uh, Dwayne Norris and Al Alvarez of Social Synergy. These two young entrepreneurs have um, put together a fascinating company that operates in the energy space. And uh, the last time they told us a little bit about chemistry, what brought them together, and some of the elements that um, have um, carried them um, thus far. So today we want to drill in to, to, to ask them to tell us a little bit about their story. What exactly does Soulful Synergy do? What, the, what, what, what it does? And um, to take us through a, a, a short bit of their presentation. So welcome again, Al, and welcome again, Dwayne. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for Thank having you. us back. Okay, okay. So um, the last time we, we um, discussed uh, your company and how we got started. And so for this episode, we'd like to ask you to tell our viewers exactly what Soulful Synergy does and um, how it impacts its stakeholders and the community around it. So, um, sure, Patrick, with pleasure. Okay, so um, either of you, um, Al or Duane, um, sure. I was, can we start? Will we be able to start the the slideshow? Okay. I, absolutely. 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 That would be be great. Okay. So this slideshow is gonna tell us about what your training, your training construction area. What what will it? Um, what will so it yeah. So we put to, we we put together a presentation for you today uh, to right. be able to to tell you more about what we do, why we're here, how we're working in New York and more specifically the trainings that we have around construction and um, urban farming, which is a new a new space that, that we're diving into. So I hope that, you know, the, the idea here is for you to get as much information as possible, okay. learn as much as possible of the impact of, of the certifications we offer, how to apply them, and, and hopefully potentially even work together down the line. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, let's launch into the presentation. Awesome. We'll go to the next slide. Again, name is Alejandro Alvarez. I'm co-founder of Soulful Synergy. We're a community and economic development social enterprise. Next slide, please. At Soulful Synergy, we create uh, was created out of the desire to connect people and companies with optimal services that positively impact our community and our planet as a whole. We specialize in the facilitation of connection between key stakeholders and support the development of of collaborative partnerships. That's that's how Soulful Synergy, the name in itself came to be, the idea that we wanted to create these collaborative partnerships, not only with with the the stakeholders, the employers, the the, um, the the decision makers, but also with those that most needed the resources, right? And really being able to come together and create ecosystems that are healthy for people to, to, to thrive in. Next slide, please. So the the first the first way that we we work with our with our with our mission to make it to make it a reality is by delivering workforce development programs and working with the individuals. We understand that if an individual is 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 in a place of purpose as we mentioned in our previous in our previous segment and also in a place where uh, in which they feel fulfilled with the work that they're doing um, it puts them in a very strong place, right? In which they could build momentum and continue on in, into building a life that, that, they, that they envision for themselves, right? That they can create for themselves. And one thing that we learned early on in, in the field and when we got into this and in, in to be able to have this level of impact is that in order for participants to get into, into the construction space, there's a lot of certifications that, prov that provide barriers to, to them to be able to, to get involved, okay? And what we did was turn that on its on its head and come and, and create programming that eliminates these barriers and helps participants uh, pitch and cast a wide net within the, uh, the construction space to begin with. As I mentioned, we're also doing urban farming work and later on you'll hear, you'll hear a little bit more about our, our clean energy training. Next slide, please. So the construction safety train, the construction certification training that we deliver, um, this this 
program that you see here, we have title, uh, titled it our trade grade program. Okay, where we offer the full SST training, which is the site safety training card, which is necessary for anyone that's looking to get involved in the construction space here in New York City and or now moving more so in the Westchester area. Um, that the, the what what makes up the SST card is your OSHA 30 in construction, your eight hour fall prevention, your two hour drug and alcohol. Those 40 hours constitute and and um, and help you meet the, the, the regulation needed to be able to, to get a, a job in the construction space. And this is something that even for someone that is looking for a job can be costly, right? The OSHA 30 is anywhere from 350 to $450. The eight hours also about 160 to 200 to two hours about 90. So in total, we're talking about seven to $800 worth of investment just to try to get a job in the construction space. And with the under, and with the individuals we try to, that we work with that are looking to, to, to create careers in this space, this is a barrier sometimes that really limits them. And we, we look for ways to eliminate it through partnerships and finding funding in which they don't have to pay, pay for none of this training. We also offer the flagger course, the four hour scaffold, the security guard license, uh, uh, fundamentals of green building, CPR, first aid and um, AED, the FO1, the city citywide fire guard for impairment, the FO3, the indoor place of assembly safety personnel, and the FO4, temp temporary place of assembly as well. So these 11 certifications, when participants walk out with this, it really helps them uh, market themselves to the industry and especially helps them leverage um, these types of training against them not having potentially hands-on experience. But for that, we also provide a solution. Can we go to the next slide, please? where we provide a training called the urban handy person training, where we cover worksite safety, measurement tools, hand tools, power tools, blueprint reading, material, um, building material, material handling equipment. And we actually do full blown out, uh, full blown out build outs in, of, of carpentry, plumbing systems and electric. Participants at, a, at, the, at the end of our trainings actually build out a full bathroom where they, they use the hand tools and the power tools they learn, they learn in class. And now they not only walk out with the certifications, but they also walk out with, with, the, with the necessary skill sets that are valuable to the employers. Next slide, please. So we broke down our trainings into four masteries. Mastery number one is gonna be our worksite safety, linear measurements, framing and insulation. Mastery number two is drywall taping, compound and sanding. Mastery number three is paint and finish. And mastery number four is building out again the full the full bathroom. Next slide, please. This is a picture again of, of our program. Um, on the left, we have a, a training that we did um, earlier this year. And participants, again, you see them there working and building up their skills and using the hand tools and power tools and how to properly use a working bench. On the right side, you have participants actually visiting a job site here um, here in um, in Westchester, and excuse me, the one the one on the left is in Harlem. Uh, the picture on the right is in um, is is in um, uh, in Westchester, um, and and these are the type of of experiences we create for our participants so they could explore this space. Next slide, please. Uh, and now we also again one of the things that we pride ourselves in in saying is something we learned from the uh, Wayne Gretzky, one of the greats in hockey, in which he said. He never chased the puck, but he always set himself where the puck will be. And what we like to do within our, our training is to make sure our participants are always set up where the puck will be. And we, in order for them to best benefit from incoming and emerging opportunities and virtual reality is one of those in which we, we leverage um, technology to reinforce the information in the classroom. Next slide, please. We have also embarked again into urban farming. Um, as you see in the left picture, um, you have a young man over the summer working on one of the urban farms that, that we put together. Um, this, this, this site produced um, over a thousand, about over a thousand pounds of food at the very least. That was a hundred, a hundred units. And those units each got, got a bag of food for over a month, just producing from this, from this, uh, from this one site. And, um, and the great thing is that we connect all our trainings with with the urban farming because the participants from our construction training are actually the ones that are building out the beds and the infrastructure to be able to make these these sites a reality um they build out uh benches tables 
um, and, and, and the plant beds, again, from recycled material, from us upcycling, and, and then we create a full uh, um, holistic system so the individual can really hone in on their skills. Next slide, please. All right, we can we can go past this. This is work that we did also during COVID where we provided support in, in, in Westchester and helping distribute over 30,000 pounds of food a week during the peak of COVID. Um, again, you know, we're here to help the individual, but when the time called for us to, to also step up with the community, we brought together the resources that we had available in order to, to support the need of being able to, to provide this, this nest, this fundamental need of, of healthy food. Next slide, please. All right. It's a little bit of information. Again, let's get good tire working together is also it's a great model we learned. And this is um if you want to get in contact with me check out our website our instagram our facebook um and and hopefully you like this little quick one minute video that we put together so we have here again is a summer program where participants are applying exactly what they're learning in class for us, repetition is knowledge, okay? Perfect practice. I mean, practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. As you can see there, we have uh, the young, the youth here literally working and hammering for about an hour, two hours straight and making sure they have it, have their, their skills honed in and in a way in which, again, can be applied to the real world. Using a sawzall, reciprocating saw, we have John there in the red, one of our, our director of workforce development, our lead instructor. And the great thing is not only do we bring these programs with, with these types of uh, trainings, but the, our, our, our uh, instructors have uh, depth, uh, deep, deep knowledge of the training. We can move on, this is it. So you can move on to the next presentation, thank you. So. As mentioned before, we, we do not chase the puck. We set up ourselves where the puck will be. So with that, I'll do the handoff to my business partner to speak about this emerging and very important industry, clean energy, and the work that we're doing in that space. Thank you, Al. Got it, got it, thank you. Um, yeah, if you wanna pull up that presentation, happy to walk through it. So we have, as, I, as Alejandro mentioned, a number of training programs. Um, this one we run in partnership with some, some pretty important partners. Uh, so the Clean Energy Academy is a training program that's been funded by NYSERDA. Uh, NYSERDA is our New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. They provide funding for all different types of research initiatives, clean energy initiatives, water testing, air, et cetera. But um, training is one of the things that they value because that's how we're really going to make sure that we can meet our clean energy, sustainable climate change goals is making sure we have a workforce. So if you go to the next slide, you can learn a little bit more about the program this course specifically that we're running is uh, in line with commercial energy auditing. So energy auditing is essentially doing an assessment of your building's energy systems. Um, we all have different energy systems within our buildings. Uh, we have water systems, we have HVAC systems, lighting, right, electrical systems, et cetera. So we're looking at these systems and looking at ways in which we can find efficiencies or inefficiencies, document those and give those back to the building owner so they can make informed decisions about how to update, upgrade, retrofit, enhance, right, their buildings. And so this course is a 60 hour course. Uh, it is a combination of learning about the green industry as a whole, right? What does the sector look like? Where are the jobs? But also learning about the specific things within the buildings, again, that are gonna make that building more efficient. So learning the audit process, learning the different tools and softwares, and we align our credential and training with a lot of the nationally recognized certifications and, uh, and uh, credentials. Next slide. So this is what we're going to be going over, right, about the training, about the course, the curriculum, and really how we approach uh, this process. So you can go to the next one. I'll probably move a little bit faster now, just as you guys are getting familiar with what we're looking to deliver. But this program, <clears throat> again, is a course that is aligned with the commercial market. And there's a lot of buildings in New York. Um, in fact, buildings contribute to about 70% of the greenhouse gas emissions in New York City. 
And so we're looking at those buildings. A lot of them are older buildings and say, how can we make those more efficient? So we're training auditors to be able to go out into the field and do those audits, do those assessments and bring back the data so that we can make those enhancements. And uh, this program is really focused on the energy auditor because we believe they're a catalyst to making decisions. Until you have that information and that data, there's really no way for a building owner to know what they need to improve. Next. So we run the courses on a number of different types of systems. Uh, it's a 60 hour training usually is how we try to group it. Um, we do them on three different systems. We have electrical systems, which includes lighting, HVAC and refrigeration, thermal systems, which includes heating, uh, domestic hot water systems and building envelope, which is like the shell of your building. And then we have clean heat that we're working on, which is gonna be, um, I don't know why it says lighting, but it's uh, essentially heating systems that are electrified. And uh, so we run a number of different training programs. We look at the jobs on the right hand side, the different types of career tracks that we align to. We consider them front end jobs, which are like client facing jobs when you're actually working, you know, with the public. And then some are behind the scenes where you really just get to work on computers and stuff like that most of the day. Not perfect. There's obviously always going to be some type of alignment. Um, but we train participants for sales and outreach jobs, auditing jobs, uh, finance and incentive administration, project management and project coordination design and engineering uh, installers, which is very much the hands-on work that uh, Alejandro just mentioned, inspections, uh, measurement and verification, and operations and maintenance. And so these are just some of the job roles that are already existing within the industry. So when you come in with certain skill sets, uh, we can align your skill set with the type of job role that might be best suited for you. Next slide. So these are some of the, the pictures of our pre-COVID training. Uh, participants were going out to churches or other buildings um, and doing assessments. So you'll see on the top left, uh, that's them actually documenting the types of lighting fixtures and things they were seeing within the building. Uh, in the middle and right pictures, they're actually in one of our, our live labs at Will Dance headquarters, uh, looking at some of the different types of fixtures and units. Uh, this is the graduation ceremony that we had at Con Edison's headquarters, um, January of 2020. So just pre-COVID, uh, sorry, February of 2020, uh, pre-COVID. Um, but really a great, great opportunity for these young men and women. Uh, next slide. And so, you know, we really do look at, again, our name, Soulful Synergy, as, as a real thing. You need to create synergy. You need to create partnerships. You need to have everybody with a vested stake so that everybody's bringing more to the table. Uh, so as we built out our village, uh, you know, these are actually not even fully up to date. I have more, but there's partnerships on clean energy companies that are involved. There's partnerships on the employer side because our students need to get jobs and placements. So you have to engage uh, employers. You have to engage recruitment partners, people who refer uh, their candidates to the program. Uh, we have a number of different subcontractors we work with. Um, and so on the right hand side, you're looking at the different types of partners who refer uh, participants to our, our program. And so by working with uh, nonprofits and community based organizations, we're able to really find the types of participants who can benefit from this training, who may not have found out about it otherwise, who may not even know that there's a whole green industry, a clean energy industry that exists uh, with good paying jobs, jobs that average around $60,000 a year and that you don't need college degrees to apply for. So next slide. So over the last uh, two years, we've been running training programs. Uh, year one was, you know, ramp up of sorts. We had a curriculum um, from about 10 years ago that we kind of revamped and, and reorganized. So just looking at the last two years, uh, we trained 125, 120 participants have completed the training program. 84% um, of them are employed, 71% is job placement. And when you see those different rates, it just means that the 71% are ones that we actually had a hand in placing. Some people do come to us with already having jobs. They just want to get upskilled. And some come to us looking for an opportunity and we help to get them placed. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see the number significantly increased over this year. Um, so we got additional funding from NYSERDA to run more programs, which is an amazing thing. They funded us now for about eight contracts that we have running for the next three plus years. So we, we have a lot of training still left to do. Uh, but we've also gotten other partners who have uh, contracted us to run training programs for them um, because they see the, the viability of this space. Uh, next slide. So without going too deep. But we spoke about this in, in one of the last slides, but again, front and back end roles, um, there are entry level, as you see on the left hand side at the top, there's junior levels. So even within each of these roles, just understand that there's different um, levels of experience. Um, and sometimes you come to us with degrees and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you come with 
transferable skills and sometimes you don't. And we take all those things into account as we look to see, you know, again, what kind of career path is going to make most sense for you based on what skill sets you have, but also based on what you want to accomplish, where your passion is. Next slide. Um, again, without getting too deep into it, we break the markets down in a way that makes it easier for people to understand. So there's a commercial buildings and then there's residential buildings within the commercial and residential. There's small buildings and there's large, large uh, residential is really anything over four plus units, five plus units, right? Multifamily buildings. And so we're looking at those market segments because they use different types of systems. So as we look to the right hand side, you're looking at the way we break up the understanding of the different types of uh, clean energy technologies. And so uh, you're looking at electrical in blue, thermal in red, and then you're looking at efficiency and renewables. So those are two different things. Efficiency is how you look at taking current systems and making them more efficient. And renewables is looking at a whole new source of energy. So when you think of solar and wind and geothermal and, and, uh, and, and water energy, like these are the things that are where we're trying to go. We're trying to get to a space where as much of our energy is coming from renewable sources as possible. But right now, since we're not there, we're looking at how do we make sure our current systems are as efficient as possible so that we're reducing consumption, reducing costs, and reducing the negative effects of greenhouse gases and, and carbon emissions. Next one. So again, our course is broken down into a number of different things. Uh, green economy is the, the core and foundation. We want to make sure people understand what the ecosystem, the landscape of the clean energy industry looks like. So they know what's where the money is, where the opportunities are, what type of certifications they may need, uh, what the laws are, policies and standards. And then again, we go deeper dive into specific systems. So on our electrical side, we're focused on lighting and HVAC. Next slide. And on our thermal systems, we're focused on building envelope heating systems and domestic hot water systems. And with all of them, we're learning principles, we're learning sciences, we're learning the, about the, uh, the softwares and tools and calculators that they're using within the industry. So we align the curriculum with the jobs that we know Con Edison and their partners are hiring for. Next slide. Uh, again, not going to cover all this one. Next slide. So we uh, align our curriculum is very real world. Right now, all of our trainings can be done virtually. So there's hands on components that we can include. But right now we can also run everything virtually. Um, and we provide a whole professional development series, resume writing, cover letters, interview preparation, and connections to employers. Next slide. So our approach is really that. We have highly qualified instructors. They've been in the field. They know this industry. Uh, we use experience-based projects, both hands-on when we go out in the field, but also in the classroom. Our participants are learning from real case studies. We provide career support services. We make sure that uh, we have job uh, developers and career specialists who do career coaching. We help you understand how the industry is moving and where the opportunities are. And then we make direct connections to employers once we understand your, your unique uh, hiring needs. Uh, next slide. So pre-COVID, we were at 90% job placement. Uh, COVID has been what it's been. So there's challenges that come with it, but we've still been able to place on average 70 plus percent of our participants into meaningful jobs. And that's a big deal for a lot of people. Uh, next uh, next slide. So our team is made up of a lot of industry partners. Wildan is a, is a large company um, that does energy efficiency all across the, the country. They're traded on the New York Stock Exchange, publicly traded. They have a lot of resources that they bring. Con Edison, obviously, a uh, super partner uh, in this program, New York Institute of Technology. Our company, Soulful Synergy, Energy EDC, which handles a lot of our program management, our instructors, green tech leaders, and our technology uh, team at Life3. Next slide. So if you have any need to contact me, um, I run the outreach and recruitment for the program as well as other things. Uh, CEA stands for Clean Energy Academy at soulfulsynergy.org, 917-830-7157. And next slide, same info, happy to, to discuss anything that you have for training needs. But if you go to cleanenergyacademy.org, uh, you'll find a lot of good information there as well about how to register uh, for any of our upcoming classes. Thank you so much, Duane, for a wonderful, concise, and uh, action-packed presentation. Um, I just have, we have about three minutes left, and I just have uh, a couple of quick questions, which um, I'm placing myself in the shoes of a guy who is unemployed or who has, uh, you know, a, a record, of, let's say, you know, um, 
the yeah. criminal record. Is that a barrier to, to, to being in your program? No. So one, we don't even ask the question. So the, the criminal history or any of that, not a question that we ask on the training side. I okay. can't say that some employers may not consider it as something, but for the most part, we've never really had a problem with it. Uh, employers are wanting to know, can you do the job? And when you've been okay. trained, like we are training people aligned with the, the job roles, um, that's what employers are caring about. Okay. Okay. The other thing is, um, maybe Al, you can take 30 seconds to tell us about your your COVID, um, your COVID, because you did something, your COVID training, is it? Um, you did mention to me yesterday. So we got, we got an opportunity to, uh, to work alongside with uh, Rutgers University to deliver our COVID-19 worksite safety training. Um, it's a four hour training free, once again, that we're, we're able to offer to those, anyone that wants to, to learn about the, the, the best and up to date uh, safety protocols and how they, to keep themselves safe when they get back to the works, uh, workplace, especially now that we're opening them back up at, at the level that we are. Um, and it's also, again, something very valuable for, um, for anyone that's looking for work to be present themselves with this type of training to an employer, especially now with the HERO Act that was uh, implemented at the be beginning of uh, last month where all employers need to have a COVID-19 biological hazard plan in place. Um, and it's a great starting point to, to, to have this certification uh, and bring that to the table when, when applying for new jobs. Okay, um, I'm just gonna ask you to take maybe less than a minute to tell me about just a unique case of where your program actually changed life or lives of individuals. Just quickly, well, very speak out a unique case. Um, less than you want, less than a minute. Less than a minute. I mean, we're changing lives every day, brother. I'm not but even something joking. that sticks out. Something I'm that not even joking, but something that sticks out, I would say it's it's always Quentin. So Alex, you could take that story. I think he's always uh, an amazing one. Yeah, I mean we Quentin and Orel from the same class actually. Quentin, um Quentin and Orel were two individuals that came into this training. Quentin specifically wanted to um, get involved in, in the music space. And when I asked him what it was, his why, his why was music. And I wanted to understand why he wanted to take construction and use construction. He said he wanted to use that to pay for his studio time to be uh, a musician. And he did exactly that. He took our training. And not only did he take our training and he's being successful with that career, that track, but he's also using that to feed his dream and his passion, which is music. And that to us is a great, great, great success story. And we have another of a gentleman that came and took our, our training and came out swinging for the fences. And now, again, took not only our construction training, took the clean energy training, just called me the other day. He's about to get married, have kids, started his own business and a director of, of outreach here he in Westchester. So, he was formerly incarcerated. So Thank so you so much. Yeah. Formerly incarcerated on the road he didn't commit for Excellent. over a decade. Thank you so much, guys. Um, we, um, Al and um, Dwayne from Soul Food Synergy for Action Pack presentation. And uh, best thank of luck to you guys. And thank you once again on behalf of the pleasure. We appreciate it. Thanks thank for you for having us. us. If you love them enough to do this, surely you'll check nitsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat.